Hello and welcome to another installment of Conspirator Brock's Poll List. This is my poll list for the week of May 21st, 2014. A lot of books, a lot of books, so let's get started. First up is American Cycle, or American Vampire, sorry, Second Cycle, <laughs> number three. Uh, Scott Snyder's kicking ass with uh, his second installment of American Vampire. Um, Dustin Nguyen does the art and it's amazing. Uh, if you haven't checked out American Vampire, uh, it's a decent place to start, but I highly, highly recommend going back and reading uh, the first installment of American Vampire. Good stuff. Check it out. Next up, we have Batman and Frankenstein, or Batman and number 31. Uh, the Hunt for Robin keeps going. So, yeah, uh, apparently they're bringing Damien back, uh, which is cool. Uh, his character um, was really interesting in uh, Batman Incorporated. Uh, wasn't completely up to my taste in that book. But his uh, stuff in Batman and early on in the New 52 stuff was amazing. So, yeah, Batman and. Check it out. Next up is week seven of Batman Eternal. This book is amazing. It's been, it's just got a whole bunch of characters um, in it. It's uh, building a huge story that yeah, I'm so far really, really enjoying. So, if you haven't gotten on Batman Eternal, you should. Or so. Next up is Batwoman number 31. Uh, Batwoman is still a consistent title, still enjoying it. Um, let's see, Mark Andranko, I hope I can say that alright, uh, is doing a great job. Keep it up. Uh, next up is East of West number 12. Uh, I've been enjoying this title. Um, Nick Dragato's artwork is very, very interesting, and Hickman tells a really, really good story here. Uh, so yeah, East of West. Uh, finally, after a long, long <laughs> delay, we have Forever Evil number 7 of 7. Uh, I actually already went and read this. It's awesome. So uh, yeah, for those of you who were irritated or pissed off or just in general uh, angry at DC for the delay, uh, Forever Evil number 7 makes up for it. It's awesome. Uh, next up is Harley Quinn number six. Harley Quinn's just a fun book. If you like Harley Quinn and you like fun books, check this book out. Uh, next up is Justice League number 30, another title that was delayed. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what's going on with the Justice League books. I've really enjoyed um, the story with uh, Cyborg um, uh, you know, getting built into his new version. Uh, so we'll see what this has in store for us. Uh, then we have, next up is Justice League of America number 14. Uh, this is the aftermath of Forever Evil. Um, so I recommend reading Forever Evil first, and then maybe Justice League 30, and then this book. So, yeah. Uh, next up is number 3 for New 52's Future Ends. Uh, this book has actually surprised me a lot. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the Zero issue was crazy, uh, and the first issue was pretty intense. And number, issue number two was diving a little bit deeper. And now issue three, let's see where it goes. Future's End, another weekly title. Good stuff. Uh, after being gone for some time, uh, Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples give us Saga number 19. Uh, looks like we're about to see where this little family goes off to to make a living. <laughs> but really enjoy this book. Check it out. I'm saying check it out a lot. That's weird. Uh, next up is the only Lantern book I'm actually enjoying and buying, which is Sinestro number two. So the first one um, by William Bunt was very entertaining. Uh, made me want to read more. A uh, little jarring with Johns's end of. Green Lantern and saying that Sinestro disappeared and now he's back. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. But I'm really enjoying this. Uh, then we got uh, a title that's on the chopping block for DC. So, in August, it will be canceled. Um, but it's Trinity of Sin Pandora. This is number 11. Uh, I've been enjoying the Pandora book, it's fun. Um, and uh, Pandora's an interesting character. I don't know if they've fully pulled the trigger on her potential with the new 52, um, but for the most part, it's been okay so far. 
Uh, next up is Unity number seven. I feel there's been a delay in this Unity book, um, but I've been enjoying all the Valiant books. The Unity title, which teams up a couple of the characters, like Exo Man of War, uh, Eternal Warrior, Ninjax, um, is really fun. Let's check it out. Let's check it out again. Uh, next up is uh, The Unwritten Apocalypse, number five. Uh, Unwritten is one of those books that I've read since the beginning. It's at times confusing as shit. Um, in general, a, a really off the wall story about literature and all this random stuff, but I have somehow still enjoy this book, so check out Unwritten if you haven't checked it out. I need to stop saying that. Uh, Velvet number five um, by Brubaker and uh, Ed Brubaker and Steve Epstein. Uh, Velvet has is a female spy um, who's basically been framed. Who's trying to figure out who uh, killed a fellow spy member. It's basically it's uh, been told it's like what if Money Penny was really a spy? Uh, good stuff. Really enjoy it. Check it out. Check. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Help me, people. Help me. <coughs> and uh, next up is Exo Man of War number 25, apparently an anniversary spectacular. Uh, Exo Man of War has been a very good read, very solid read. Um, so, yeah. And they're doing the Armor Hunters stuff right now, which is uh, building up, and I'm really looking forward to where that goes. So, that was it for my poll list. Um, those are the titles that I actually purchased and are going into my collection. Um, next up is all the stuff that I'm reading, so here we go. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man graces us with number two, uh, Dan Slott and Humberto Ramos. Uh, the first one was enjoyable. I wasn't a big fan of the Superior Spider-Man stuff, so I skipped over it. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one was an okay jumping on point, um, but dealing with the aftermath of all of the Superior Spider-Man stuff, I don't know if I'm really going to stay on board, but I'm giving it a shot. Uh, then we have... Mark Wade's um, Daredevil, number three. Uh, still a good, solid book for Marvel. Um, I still enjoy the Daredevil stuff. He's in San Francisco now, um, putzing around out there, doing his thing. So, Daredevil, number three. Uh, next up is Elektra, number two. Uh, the first book uh, caught my attention. It was interesting. The art was worked for the book. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep checking out Elektra. Uh, next up is Green Lantern and New Guardians um, because I'm a glutton for punishment and I want to see where, how far these Green Lantern books can fall before I will no longer pick them up. Uh, next up is Hulk number three by Wade and Bagley. Uh, I'm not too sure I'm enjoying the direction they're going with the Hulk um, banners been shot in the head and now he's no longer a genius and it, it's a very odd book and with Bagley's art it harkens back to the Incredible Hulk Bagley stuff which uh, I read a little bit but wasn't too completely impressed with but we'll see uh, the next up is a number one from Mark Millar not the biggest fan but I'm going to check it out uh, MPH I believe that stands for miles per hour um, my guess is it's about some superhero type that speeds really fast and there's some violence and some swear words and the other stuff that Mark Miller likes to put in his books. So I'll check it out. Uh, next up is Original Sin number two. Um, I was blown away by actually how much I enjoyed the first issue of this. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading number two. Original Sin for me was not a top um, wanted to read title from Marvel, um, but uh, Jason Aaron's been doing a really good job with the story. The Zero issue wasn't the best, uh, but issue one really grabbed my attention, so checking out Original Sin number two. Uh, then again, we have another Jason Aaron title, Thor, um, God of Thunder number 22. Um, still enjoying this title, still a solid title from Marvel. Um, he's uh, Thor's basically dealing with uh, Rexon Industries and the bad guy that's basically taken over the little town of Baxton. Baxton, I don't remember what the name of the town is. Batten. Um, 
um, and you know, kind of kicked Thor out. So um, we'll see where it goes. But Jason Aaron's been kicking ass with Thor. Uh, there was a couple books that I was not able to pick up um, this week to read, uh, just due to limited quantities at the store. Um, and those would be Batman, Superman, uh, number eleven. Uh, that one continues the Superman Doomed story, which um, I really enjoyed the special in the first two chapters last week, um, so we'll see where this one goes. I did a flip through, um, and it, I think Superman appears in like one panel, so I'm not really sure what's going on with this story at this point, uh, since Superman is no longer in, really involved, so we'll see. And then uh, the, another title that I was not able to grab was Magnus Robot Fighter number 3 uh, from Dynamite. Uh, I really enjoyed the first two issues, and I'm going to keep going with those. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, grab a copy and read it at some point. And then next up is Rocket Girl number 5. Rocket Girl's interesting. It deals with time. You know, somebody from the future comes back to the 80s and is apparently stuck here and needs to change something or doesn't need to change something. I, I don't know. It's it's not as good as Time Cop. <laughs> Time Cop was really any good. Oh, come on, it was Van Damme. It was fun. It was my, you know, impressionable years as a kid. Uh, next up is uh, Supergirl 31. Uh, it continues the Red Daughter of Krypton stuff that's been crossing over with Red Lanterns. Uh, apparently they take on Atrocicus. Atrocicus? I'm not kidding. Even talk to um, and his cat. I always forget that cat's name. But uh, we'll see. It's been okay so far. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not too sure. It's something that I've been really enjoying since I'm no longer getting the Red Lantern books. Uh, then we finally have Zero Number Eight, which is that uh, book about. Um, a trained killer guy who basically kind of deals with weird physics at times with something. And I don't know. It's but it's interesting. Um, I, it's a okay read. I enjoyed it. It's from Image. So yeah. So that's my poll and my read list. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm showing off my uh, Annihilation Omnibus. This thing. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. You want to see it? I'll I'll, I'll get it. Oh, okay, okay. So, the Annihilation Omnibus came out um, last week, and it's heavy, um, but uh, this collects all the Annihilation stuff um, that Marvel did uh, right before, and it introduces the Guardians of the Galaxy. So, if you're interested in seeing where the current Guardians of the Galaxy, not not uh, Bendis's, but uh, da uh, Abbott and Lanning's, uh, this is what you want to check out. Uh, it's got a lot of great stuff here. I remember reading it um, when I first got back into comics uh, seven years ago. And just, it's an ama amazing, amazing stuff. So if you get a chance, it's the Annihilation Omnibus. This sucker is thick. Yes, it's so nice and pretty. Mm. But yeah, highly recommend Annihilation. Um, I'm hoping they do a... Um, I'm hoping they do a... Annihilation Conquest Omnibus, which is the next installment. Um, I know they're doing a Guardians collection, but I think that's going to be split into two books. It's not going to be an Omnibus, even though it should be. But yeah. So, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to leave comments if you uh, feel I'm doing something bad, if you feel I'm doing something right, if you enjoy this, if you don't like it, whatever. Just leave comments. Um, also, thank you for supporting and you know, buying stuff through com our digital storefront for Comics Conspiracy by clicking any of the links if you're on my blog for the uh, comics per every week. Also, thanks for buying stuff through Amazon click-throughs. Uh, helps out immensely. And, yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess the only other thing I can say is I survived Big Wow Comic Con uh, this past weekend. Uh, I had to work by myself uh, on Saturday due to Ryan Higgins being a little ill. But I uh, got through it, had a good time, um, got some 50 cent books to help finish out some of my binds, uh, which I think I'm going to do maybe do a couple videos this summer, um, show you guys what I've done with comic book binding. Um, so yeah, but thanks for watching. You can check me out more, uh, check out more at conspiratorbrock.com. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel here, and I 
do appreciate everything and have a good one.